Let's talk about volume. Now, volume is very simple. We're looking at the inside of our 3D shape. So things like the inside of a swimming pool, how much water can it hold? How much water can you know, a bottle hold? How much liquid can this particular canister hold? So that's what we're talking about when we refer to volume. And the formula is very simple because we are simply going to take the area of the base and we are going to multiply that by the height. Now for each and every shape that's going to be different. When I deal with a rectangular prism, we know how we need to work out that area and then multiply it by the height. When we're dealing with a triangular prism, it's going to change. When we deal with a cylinder, it's going to change. But this is the formula that we are going to use. Each one's area specific to the shape is going to be different. So let's take the example of a box. And again, forgive my drawing. But we're looking at the volume of this box. Now, what did we say that formula is? The area of base times the height. So how do we get the area of this sort of shape? What are we going to do? We're going to say length multiplied by breadth. And then what do we need to do with that? We need to multiply that by the height. Do we have those measurements? Yes, we do. The length multiplied by the breadth multiplied by the height. And that then gives me somewhere around 16,875 cubic. We're dealing with volume now. So cubic centimeters. Why cubic centimeters? Because these measurements were in centimeters. So our next one is where we're dealing with a cylinder. Now again, area of the base times the height. Do we have the height? Yes, we do. So we already know that's times five. But what about the area of the base? In other words, this circle that we have over here. How do we calculate the area of a circle? We need to go pi r squared. That's how we calculate the area of a circle. Now, that r stands for our radius. Do we have a radius? Yes, we do. It's one meter. So now we have pi times one squared times five. What does that end up giving us? 15,7 cubic meters because these are in meters and that's my volume of my cylinder now we're looking at our triangular prism and the same is going to apply the area of the base multiplied by the height well let's fill in our figures so how do i calculate the area of a triangle well we know that is supposed to be half base times height and then multiplied by that height but how do I know where my base is and what height are they actually referring to? Remember, with the area of a triangle, it is the perpendicular height. So the height that comes from uh, the line that's got the little 90 degree angle on it. Do we see that here? Yes, we do. There it is. So half times, where's my base? Here's my base. 5 multiplied by 8. That's going to give me the area of my triangle. And then I'm going to multiply that by 3, being the height over here. And that's going to give me my answer of 60 cubic centimeters.